What's up everybody? I'm Cliff. This is Tech Endeavor. And today this video is all about uh, troubleshooting your computer if you're having finder problems, uh, if you're having some Bluetooth issues. For me, I had a bunch of problems with my finder application. I had some Bluetooth issues and airdrop issues. It just kind of like it would get it would get locked up. It would take a long time to do just basic tasks. My problems I'm having are I will try to move a folder and it takes forever. I'll try to delete a folder. It takes forever. Even if the folder is empty, it seems to take forever. I try to delete a folder that literally had nothing in it and it took like two minutes, two solid minutes of spinning Wheel of Death just to delete an empty folder. And this is a killer to my workflow and it's just, it's completely ridiculous. So we're gonna go through some troubleshooting steps and these are some things that could actually help fix the problem for you. And then at the end, I'm actually going to do a fresh install of Mac OS. And the reason I'm doing it this way is because if you're watching this and you have some problems, I would, recommend that you go through the troubleshooting steps first, okay? And then if you're still having problems, then you can do a fresh install of Mac OS. I'm gonna show you how to walk through that troubleshooting process and we're gonna delete some configuration files that may have become corrupted and are causing problems with your system. And then we will move on to doing a fresh install. So I'll put a link down below that'll have the exact timestamp of the fresh install of Mac OS. So if you came to this video and that's all you care about, then you can skip ahead to that. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the video and we'll start out with those troubleshooting steps and then we will move on to the big fresh install. <laughs> So yeah, there's a couple of things that you can do before you actually get to the step of uh, installing, reinstalling Mac OS. And so I'm gonna go through there those first. And so the first thing here is you can delete the uh, finder preferences files. So one way to do that is you can open up your spotlight search and type tilde, I guess that's squiggly, whatever that is, library, library slash preferences and see even might this might not work because my finders bugging out okay there it is all right it loaded okay so you can see there how long it took to even bring that up this is like one of the, the issues I've been having with with finder so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through here I'm gonna find a file called um, that's com.apple.finder.plist so Let's find this here. Where are you at? Find it up, plist. Okay. And we can safely delete this file because whenever you reboot your computer, this file is going to get generated. So sometimes this file gets corrupted or something about it like interferes with the way your finder works. So you can delete it. And then when you restart your computer, you'll get that fresh file generated. And sometimes that can solve your problem. So we'll go ahead and do that move that to the trash. And while we're here, also we can, uh, if you're having problems with your Bluetooth, you can actually do the same thing for Bluetooth. So we'll find this uh, com.apple.bluetoothfileexchange.plist. Sometimes it's just gonna say .bluetooth.plist, but find this file and we can delete that as well. One last thing that we'll need to do to effectively reset the Bluetooth. While we're inside this folder here, now we're going to go into by host and we want to find a file that has basically the same thing, com.apple.bluetooth. And then I'll have this crazy string of letters and numbers. We'll find that file and delete that one as well. Okay, now what we want to do is restart the computer. So yeah, after you've restarted your computer and everything, you might find that you're still having problems. And that was actually my case. I'm gonna actually go ahead and do a fresh install on Mac OS. But before I do that, there's one more thing that you can try. And so you can bring up Spotlight Search and you can open the terminal. And no, we don't wanna update right now. Okay. 
And then um, what you want to do is type, this is essentially going to be the same thing, but uh, we're going to do it through the terminal. So remove, rm means remove, and library preferences slash com dot apple dot finder dot plist. Now, if you have deleted this file and you haven't restarted your computer, then you're probably going to get an error here because it doesn't exist. So once that's, that's done, we can quit that and then restart our computer again. So if you restart after that and you're still having problems, then you might have to take more drastic measures. Now, every situation is different and your computer is set up differently than mine. But after assessing mine, I've decided that the best thing that I can do is do a fresh install of Mac OS. And if you are deciding that that's something that you want to do, then you can follow along here. But there's uh, one more thing that we could try and so we could say disk utility. What we can do is we can click here first, run first aid. So you're gonna click run here and it's gonna tell you that your computer is basically gonna be unresponsive for a few minutes or a few hours. So depending on your computer, it could take a long time. So you kind of have to just set it and then let it do its thing and then come back and see if that's fixed your problem. Now, a lot of times this will fix the issue that you have if you have some corrupted files, corrupted data that kind of thing. So I would say give this a shot before you pull the trigger on reinstalling your OS. And then if that's still not working, then then you can go ahead and try it. So, so to put your Mac in recovery mode, what you want to do is you want to restart your computer. And then as it's rebooting, you want to hold Command and R until you see the Apple logo, then you can let it go and it's going to boot up into recovery mode. So select the user into your password and let's go into the disk utility. So we can run first aid here. Okay, and then this will run. It'll repair anything that, wow, that was really quick. Okay, that's the ba base system here. And so let's try it again here. Okay, gonna need to enter the password and it'll do its thing. This one looks like it's gonna take a little longer, but that's okay. All right, that one's good. And we can do the same thing here. Right, that's done. And so once you get to this point, this will be where you actually do a fresh install, right? If you do these things though, I would recommend you actually closing this out and then just restart, you know, restart normally. And then once you get back into the computer, see if it's working well, see if this has fixed your problems before you go and uh, reinstall Mac OS. Okay, so once you have all your files, your documents, your images, you know, whatever, once you have that moved over to your backup drive, then uh, you can start this process of resetting uh, and reinstalling your Mac OS. So what we want to do is we want to actually restart the computer and when we're restarting again, we want to hold command and the R key. Once we see the Apple logo, we can let go. And then this will boot up into recovery mode. Hey, then once you get to this point, just select your user and enter your password. And we want to go to disk utility again. And so we'll go ahead and eject the external hard drive. I don't want this to interfere at all. Um, and you'll see you have your base system, your HD data and HD. So with HD, uh, we actually want to erase this. The way we do that is by clicking this minus button. Now, before you do this, make sure that anything that off of the computer that you want to keep is either backed up on an external hard drive or you've backed it up by some other means such as using the time machine okay so i've already done that i'm all good i have what i want to keep and everything else i'm good with wiping it so we'll click the minus button here and then we want to go over to the right and click delete here okay we'll click done and then okay so now We'll click Macintosh HD, it might just say Mac HD, and we need to erase it. So we'll click erase here and erase. <clears throat> this is always the part where you get really nervous and you're like, oh my God, did I, did I save everything? 
uh, did I miss something? But it's too late now. So that's done. And we can actually close out of that and go to reinstall Mac OS. Now you're gonna wanna make sure, uh, and you probably should do this ahead of time, but make sure that you are still, stay connected to your Wi-Fi the entire time. Okay, continue. So I'm gonna not read this and say that I did. Probably signing away all of my rights to all of my data. So you're gonna select your hard drive here and install. So this could take some time, even several hours. So if it takes a while, don't worry about it. Just let it do its thing. Once it's installed, you can go ahead and get it set up as if it were a brand new computer from the factory. So you see, it's actually super easy to reinstall Mac OS. Apple makes it pretty, pretty easy to do. Uh, though I think the hardest part is just going through and finding which files and stuff you want to keep, which ones you're willing to get rid of. Um, you know, if, if you basically want to migrate over everything, it'd probably be best to use like Time Machine or something like that. But anyway, so um, I've had a chance to play around with my computer a bit since I've done this and it is night and day. Like I, all the problems are resolved and so it's definitely worth it. And so if you're thinking about taking the step and going and doing it, um, I, I would say go ahead and do it. It's, it's like I said, it's a simple process. Just make sure you have everything backed up. All right, so I'm gonna get out of here. I'm Cliff and you've been watching Tech Endeavor. And if this video has been useful for you, give it a like and give the channel a subscribe and I will see you on the next video.